Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue where we left off uh, in the last episode. So if you didn't see the last episode, we basically spent um, that episode getting all of the large equipment in place on the wash plant. So let's go take a look and see where we're at with that. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to get the sluice boxes in and uh, then start doing all the hookups with the uh, wire, you know, the, the electrical and the, and the water lines and get our smaller equipment in place. Okay, so it looks to me like we're going to put the trommel sluice right here and then the uh, the ejection sluice or whatever the heck the thing's called, you know, where the boulders go down there. And probably we might want to put the trommel sluice in first because if we put the other one, it's going to be probably in its way. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, we'll do the trommel sluice first. And then we have to put in the two um, jig slu sluice boxes down there. Uh, so let's get that done first. And then once that is finished, then we can start working on getting all the lines and that sort of thing hooked up. Let's get to it. Uh, you guys did mention uh, in the comments, too, that when you set up and, you know, do a new setup, you usually put the sluice boxes in first before the large equipment uh, because that large equipment can get in the way. So that, that does make sense, though. Do I don't think we'll have a... A problem with that here but i can definitely see why it in general that probably is a good idea okay so let's get started here and uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna grab the trommel sluice first uh when i brought this stuff in it the trommel sluice kind of spawned in on top of the other one but um oh yeah they both did <laughs> that's funny uh, okay so let's uh, bring the bucket down like this and down to about there and see if that's good enough uh, to make the connections uh, out yeah we want to we want to I think this is the right direction because we want this to be a pointing away from us and hopefully this will be a little smoother than last time. I just really had a hard time with the uh, with the uh, what you call it, the Glacier Creek in particular last time, just because it's so big and so high. Part of the problem, though, too, was I was using the shorter cables, and I should have been using the longer cables. Um, that would have made things a little easier for us. But we know for next time, so live and learn that sort of thing. All right, let's get this uh, sluice box, uh, trommel sluice box, put in place. There we go. That was easy. Okay, that's the out and that's the in. I might be able to connect this from the end as opposed to sideways. We'll see how much clearance we have. Look at that, man. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. So now we just have the two jig uh, sluices. Let's get those next. Then we'll be done with all the heavy equipment lifting. Okay, so these are going the wrong direction. Uh, can I get in behind here and get at them from this? Yeah, I probably can. Either that or we just pull them out and then get around. Yeah, maybe it might be easier to do that. Then I don't have to mess around with trying to get around the building and stuff. So I think we'll just do it that way. I am assuming that the game requires this to be uh, the right direction. Let's just see if it snaps in, though, even though it's backwards. Oh, man, I hope we don't... Ooh, I hope we don't have a problem with the trommel being in the way. Because these are kind of going underneath them. Whoop. <laughs> All 
let's uh, lift it up a little bit. Yeah, it's either because the trommel's in the way or because the um, or or because I have it backwards. Great, now I have it stuck in there. Outer cog has been destroyed. Oh, great. That's This is a great time for that to happen. For Pete's sake. All right. Yeah, my, my guess is it's... Be, well, hopefully it's because it's backwards and not because the trommel's in the way. Otherwise, we're going to have to take that thing back off first. Yeah, but now I really see what you mean by putting the sluice boxes in first. Oh, crap. Okay, well, here. Let's get this taken care of first. Uh, so I think we need the crowbar to take this off. Or no, we need the impact driver. That's right. I remember having to do this with the, the bulldozer. Okay. I had a bunch of extra ones of these too, but I ended up selling them because I thought they were only for the bulldozer. That's the first time that's actually gone bad on the on the excavator. Here comes the sun. Okay, so equipment store parts. We're looking for the outer cog, this thing here. Let's buy a couple of those just in case, um, you know, we need more. No, actually, we only have to do this on one side of, of the, well, if it's just like, if it's like the bulldozer anyways, we don't have to do it on one side, which is a little weird, but it's the way the game works. Maybe we should buy an inner cog too well you know what though there's isn't there like three outer cogs so maybe we should buy a couple more of these they're not that expensive so yeah let's do that okay that's the inner cog that we uh no we need an outer cog okay we'll put let's put the cogs on the shelf the extra ones Okay, so let's look at these. 2%. 3%. Yeah, I think we need to replace all of these. There we go. Yes, I know in real life you would distribute the pressure of these evenly, but this isn't real life. It's a game, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, let's get back in here. Yeah, this is, we're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? That uh, sluice acts like it's actually already locked in place. Hmm. Yeah, my my bucket is actually stuck inside the trommel. It's it's really stuck. Oh, okay. Well, we got the we got that out. That's good. Um we 
It's like we're still stuck, though. There we go. There we go. Okay. Whew. That was kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, well, I think what we should do... <clears throat> excuse me, is... Turn this the right direction and see if we can... Get it to uh, go in the right direction, you know, like kind of slip it up underneath. I'm hoping it'll let me do that because I'd really rather not have to move the trommel again if we can avoid it. Yeah, that might be a little tricky. Um, well, let's try it. See what happens. I almost wonder if I should maybe come at it from the side and try and swing it in to the right. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. Whew. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I didn't want to have to move that trommel, man. That was almost as big of a pain in the butt as the Glacier Creek was. Okay. Now we know this works. You just have to have it the right direction. And uh, so, yeah, we'll go get the other one, get it popped in place, and then we'll be done with these shenanigans here. There we go. Whew, that one was a little, little trickier. But we finally got it. All right. So I believe that is it for big stuff that we have to move with the excavator. So now we got a, a bunch of little hand stuff that we're going to have to move. Let's take the excavator back up by our little shed here for now. I don't think we're going to need the chains anymore. Chains, cables, cables, chains. And then we'll uh, get started with the hand, hand setup. Okay, let's put the hog pans in first. I think this is a an extension. Uh, well, we should be able to put it in place anyways, right? Yep. And then we'll start. Uh, well, I guess we'll we could probably do just do the water lines next. Doesn't I don't know that it really matters a whole lot. It's all got to do, get done. Hard to see with this thing right in your face, man. Okay, so that sets up the hog pants. Um, <clears throat> we should probably, uh, before we actually get going crazy with lines, maybe we should get our other equipment out here, like the nuggetators and that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's do that next. That way we kind of, you know, figure out where everything's positioned, and then that'll help dictate where the best place is to run all the lines. And all that stuff is here in tucked away in the shed and I think we'll just throw it in the back of the pickup and bring it out uh, let's do get the water pump out though because we know we're going to need this I don't know if we're going to run into water flow issues too so if, if that does happen we'll have to maybe add some more pumps or something we'll have to see well no actually if we're using the water tower it provides its own pressure but we still want this to fill the the tower itself up from the lake so what we could do is just put the pump maybe right here. Yeah, that's probably a good spot for it. Okay. Now let's go get uh, the nuggetator and the magnetite separator, that kind of stuff. Wave table. 
what happened to the texture on those? Did I paint? I don't remember painting these. Did I paint these? Huh. It looks more like there's a texture issue. Because this one's not painted, whereas the other two are. I guess those are all in there. We're going to find out in a second, aren't we? We're going to hit the bucket. Nope. Oh, there... <laughs> <laughs> there they go. <laughs> okay. We might just have to do a couple at a time here. All right. So, uh, where do we want to put this? We're going to, we want, I think we're going to put the Nuggetators one on each side of the gravel pumps. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's not going to sit flat if we put it there. We could maybe put it over here. There's all of our buckets. I'd like it in a somewhat central location, though, so that we can easily get to it. Here, let's just set it there for the moment. These go down here. And it's nice that we only have to do one bucket per pump here instead of two like we did with the the lower level ones. Okay, so so those buckets we're going to pull right straight out and put them directly into this guy. So if it was here, problem is this isn't very flat. It's going to, yeah, see it sits at an angle. That doesn't give us a lot of room to maneuver there. But I want to, uh, where are we going to be pulling the, Okay, yeah, we're going to be coming down from up there with the that sluice. So it probably makes sense to put this over here somewhere. Uh, and probably the wave table too then. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not that far to grab this bucket and travel over here. So I think that's what we'll do. Uh, maybe let's... um. Move this over a little bit more. Maybe right about here. And it's relatively level, too. I mean, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, I think that's where that will go. And the wave table right next to it. This is a different layout, you know, than OA was, so... We can't uh, do the same exact setup we had there. Okay, let's go get the wave table next, and then we have the two nuggetators. Or, well, I guess we already have a nuggetator out here on the ground, so we'll grab it next. I wonder if I can get it to also hold the wave table. Wait, where is the wave table? Oh, it's over here. Okay. It fell out. All right. Let's grab this. And I'm thinking set it right here. Uh, I think that's good. I think we'll go with that. Okay. Now, for the Nuggetators, uh, we, I guess it doesn't really matter which direction it's facing. 
Well, no, we want the switch to be easily accessible, which is there. Okay, so that means I think I want them going this direction. Uh, all right, so we've got to get to... We're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to go up here to get to the mats. Oh, do we, do we grab the mats on that side from over here too? Or do we have to get up on the, that little deck there? Hmm. Well, that makes me wonder if we should put it up here then. Not really an, a lot of room up here, though, is there? Yeah, that isn't going to work. I could jump up here and put them up here, I suppose. But if we come around this way oh, <laughs> and barrel off the side. All right. Well, what if we move this over this way further? So now we have room to walk and then we can. Yeah, that might work. OK, maybe turn it this way a little more. Not that much. Then we just grab them there and plop them down in there. I don't know. That, that seems to be the best way to handle that, I suppose. Okay. And then, but that means then the other nuggetator will also have to do both of these hog pan mats in addition to these, unless we got a third one. But what I could do is I could load up the hog pans in the first nuggetator, and then while that's going, run up here and load that one up. And then when these are done, come back, take the hog pans out, and then put these in. There's another platform here, but we need we need to use this to get up to this sluice. So we don't really want to block that off. Plus, that would make it harder to do the hog pans anyways. Okay, well, let's go get the other nuggetator. And then we'll figure out the best position for that. And yeah, I know some of the more experienced players put the nuggetators right up on the stairs at an angle. But that just seems really unrealistic to me because I think that probably needs to be level to some extent. I know it's more important in real life for the wave table to be pr perfectly level, but or maybe not perfectly level, but at, at the exact angle. But that's always just seemed a little jank to me to put those up on an angle like that. I hope the texture on these fixes itself. Maybe it will the next time I log. We can still move through here. Okay, yep, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, now, next order of business is let's get the water going next, and then we'll do the power, because the power is probably going to be the most involved. Um. All right, so let's grab a big, fat water line and bring it over here. And we want this to go into the in and just put it right on down into the water. These things are so janky. Okay, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. What? Uh, what's the source of this little pond? Does it got a crick flowing into it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. It does have a crick flowing into it. Okay, we're good. And then we need another fat hose going into the water tank. Then we can start that up and start filling our tank. Let's bring the 
line around back through here. And we want this to go in the in. I think I want a little more slack here. That looks terrible. <laughs> Uh, because we're going to need to be constantly getting to the these valves over here. Eh, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Okay, we should be able to turn this on. And... Oh, it's out of fuel. Okay. Uh, I guess we did run that out of fuel. Well, this would be a good time for us to go grab our portable fuel tank and bring it out and get that thing fueled up. At midnight... Our big fuel tank will be filled up. But in the mean, meantime, we're going to have to use what's in our small tank. What happened to my hood? Who stole my hood? I call hacks. All right. Let's get some fuel in this thing. Uh... Oh, right here. It's going to say, where's the thing at? 52. Fifty-one. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Uh, I'm just not entirely, <clears throat> excuse me, entirely sure what else might need fuel before our big tank gets filled up. Okay. So we're starting to put water in our tank. Fantastic. I'm just going to let, pretty much let this run full time. All right, now we need to run um, a water line from here over to here and then put it on a splitter. So I believe we need another fat hose for that. I think this hose should be able to make it all the way over here. Nope, it stops right there, okay. So that means we need a coupler. Well, not necessarily, because we might be able to put the the water uh, distribution junction thing in a doodle manifold, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's set this down. Right there is probably as good of a place as any. Um, now, I want to try and straighten this out a little bit. Okay, and then let's just bring it to here and pop it in place there. That looks good. The hose is actually kind of almost straightening itself out. Interesting. Okay, so we don't actually need this here at all. We are going to need it down below, though. Let's just stick that there. Can I get back over this way? Yeah. Okay. And then this will go into here. And that gets water to the Glacier Creek. If we wanted to, we could even tighten this up a little bit. I want to make it look, you know, pretty neat, fairly neat. And the line can just run down through there. Oh, well, that's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, now. All right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I can run with that. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we need to run water down to the, that equipment and also over to the Nuggetator. Do we... I don't think we run water directly to these, do we? Yeah, we have to run power to them, but... Uh, 
Okay, why isn't... Oh, okay. Let's turn the water on and just see how it's flowing. Okay, yeah. So it's coming down. It's going into the glacier. Coming down through this trommel and through here all the way down to the hog pan. Okay, so we got good water flow through the plant itself. And it's using 63 gallons per minute. What is the flow of this? 164? No, 63. It can support up to 106 gallons per minute. Um, and it looks like the hose can support up to 164. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Now what we want to do is get uh, our water connection down here. So we're going to need a splitter and a red hose. So let's put this splitter up here. And then we'll connect a red hose from, the, uh, from up above to the splitter. And then we use the little green garden hoses for the other ones. We might run into a flow issue with this only because when I was at Old Arnold, I actually had to have three separate connections and I couldn't run all three of them at the same time. But we'll see what happens here. Can I not get through there? Ah, really? I guess you can't walk through there. Um, can I jump around to here and grab the, this? Yeah, okay. That looks pretty good, just as it is. I don't think we need to change anything. There's no, no kinks. Okay. Now we need to go get a bunch of the green hoses. Um, do I have a, yes, I do. Here. We might as well put these in place now so that way I can use the tray for the other stuff. Or even jump down into the sluice to get those in place. It's just more moving around, but okay. Well, that's the way we got to do it. That's the way we got to do it. Yeah, you have to like get all the way down into it just to put those in place. It's weird. And you, you kind of get caught a little bit there too so i guess you have to jump well that time i didn't get caught oh balls all right well that'll that'll stay locked once we get a, a line hooked up to it um here we might as well grab these two while we're at it all right that's set back up now, let's take and do the other side. Okay, those are in place. Now, let's grab one of these and load up a bunch of the green hoses. We need a total of four. Okay, we'll bring this one down to the magnetite separator. Uh, looks like we need a little more slack than that. Bring it around this way some more. There we go. It keeps popping that way, but actually that's okay. I think we can make that work. Maybe we'll take this. Nah, let's do the do it the same way. Because I want it to come nice and straight down. And the 
water connection on this one is right here. Again, let's give it a little more slack. That's pretty good. I think we can run with that. Oh, this got twisted around. We need to fix that. I basically want these two to be more or less facing the same direction. That's pretty good. Yep. Okay. I like it. That locks them in place. Uh, now for the this nuggetator over here with the screwed up texture. Come right down through here, and uh, where does this hook up? Right there. That's good. Yep, we can go with that. And then the final hose, which, again, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Now, I want this to... run underneath the stairs. And also underneath these guys. So how are we going to accomplish that? Hmm. We might not be able to. We might have to go down and around this way. Let's drop that there for the moment. Get this out of the way. All right, where did you go? All oh, right, we have to hook up the hog, hog pan pumps too. So that's where we might run into another splitter issue. Okay, that being the case, maybe what we should do then is put another splitter over here to service the two hog pans and this other nuggetator. Um Yeah, I think that's I think that's sort of kind of what I had going on in at Old Arnold too. Okay. So yeah, let's do that. Because I, I forgot that these hog pans need their own water hookup. Let's just wind this back up for the moment. Okay, so we'll get another red hose and another splitter. Let's grab the splitter first. That's a power splitter. We need a water splitter. There we go. All right, so I want this. Can we get it to go right here? Like that. Now to lock that in place. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're going to need two more green hoses, but one of them's going to come up here. Let's put that one down there for the nuggetator, and this one will go to the other hog pen. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to get a red hose down to here. 
Um, is it possible to run these underneath here somehow? I can't get myself under there. But I wonder if I could throw it down and reach it from the other side. Probably not. Let's try it anyway. Yeah, I can't quite get to it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so let's... What are other options do we have? We put that up there. I can get my body up this far. Okay, let's throw it down there for a second and jump up here. Oh, well, I didn't mean to jump all the way off of that. Okay, let's try something different. Let's come back this way and walk up here. Now, can we wind it back around this way? Okay. And then come over here. Now, if I wind it, will it go down underneath? Um. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can't go through there. The hose can, though. All right, I think I can jump up here from this way. Yeah. And that down around through here. And if we just hook it up there, how's that look? That's really jank. <clears throat> Janked and kanked. Kinked. Kanked, kinked. That's not terrible. Maybe a little more straightening there. Okay, let's try that. Um, I'm okay with that. Okay, so it's... I don't like that it's over the ladder, but I mean, that's not that big of a deal, I guess. What would happen if we got back down here and did this? Sometimes it'll go underneath something when you're trying to wind it like this. Let's look at it now. Okay, so we got it underneath the the sluice box. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it underneath the, the stairs, though. Probably not. This isn't an actual problem, but in real life, you wouldn't want a hose here because you'd trip over it, right? But in real life, you'd be able to thread it underneath the stairs. Can I pull it this way? I don't want it to... I don't want it to come through the... the gravel pump, though. See, it's already starting to kind of... hook up to it. So let's bring it back out this way. All right, well, um, we're probably just, uh, well, we got a part way under the stairs there. <laughs> um, 
If I picked that end up and wound it back up over here and tried to bring it this way, it might. Well, you know what, though? There's, there isn't really hardly any clearance underneath the stairs in the ground there. I think we're going to leave it the way it is. I think we're just going to call it good. And just, you know, if this was a real world situation, we would have threaded it underneath through here. But I'm not sure I'm going to even be able to do that. So we're going to call it good. And everybody just pretend like this is underneath the stairs and don't call OSHA. That's all I got to say about it. All right, that takes care of that. I think you guys, I think that's our water setup. Now, let's turn it back on and see what the overall flow is. Okay, so right now it's 74 gallons per minute. But... If we turn on, oh, we got to get the other nuggetator set up. Okay, hold on a sec. When you when you turn on the nuggetator and the magnetite separators, that increases the flow because the, then it's you know consuming more water at that point. But you know the way that I dealt with that at Old Arnold is I just disconnected one of these lines when I was doing a clean out. I really wish they would fix the valves on these. I think they may have worked at one time, but they don't now, so it's kind of a pain. Not a big deal, but still. Uh, all right, yeah, let's get this other nuggetator set up. And we had this up here facing this direction. And up against the thing. I'm going to push it back just a little more. Yeah, that's probably the right spot for that. Object must be on a flat surface. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, though. It looks pretty flat to me. Is it just not sitting down all the way? Hmm. All right. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Okay. Well, that's going to affect our economy of movement. Can I jump up here? I can, but it's not super easy. <clears throat> if I had the nuggetator right down there, would I be able to reach it to put a mat inside of it? So let's just stick this right up against the gravel pump. Maybe a little closer and a little further back. Okay, it looks like I can. If I crouch, I can, well, yeah, maybe. Here, let's take that up for a second. Ah, yeah, I can. Okay. So this isn't too bad then. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible either. I think that's the way we'll have to make this work. Can we straighten that out just a little bit? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we just need one more green hose, which we... Didn't we chuck a green hose down here? Oh, it's right here, yeah. And then this just needs to come back. Can we get it to come around this way? running into the same issue where I can't get myself underneath the thing. Let's try this the other way around. I mean, I can run it around in front if I have to, but... Uh, I guess we can hook it up to that one. 
And then if I drop it down there, can I reach it through the other side? Ha ha. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, don't move, Nuggetator. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, drop that. Right, okay. I want it to be sucked in a little bit more so it's not over the hog pan there. Um, it's not, it can be just a tiny bit better, OCD and all that. Yeah, we're going to call that one good. You guys probably don't even really see the difference between where it was and where it is now, but I think that's about as good as it's going to get, man. Okay, now we should have all of our water hooked up. Right, okay. Let's turn it on and see what the flow is. But again, we won't really get the true flow until we have the nuggetators and all that stuff running too. You forgot the miner's grill. What? Oh. Okay, so it's still showing 74 gallons, which is actually to be expected because we haven't turned on those other machines. Okay. And we won't be able to do that, of course, until we get the electricity going. This miner's grill here. There we go. Okay. Yep, that takes care of the water until and, and or unless we need to make some kind of a change for the water flow. So now it's power time. So we already have the Glacier Creek powered up here, and we also have the conveyor powered up, but we need the conveyor hopper. So let's get that going. So we just need another big one of the fat wires here. Can I get through here? Yeah, I can. Look at that. Okay, so we'll plug you into there and you right into there. Um, I might actually move you over. I like those two to be right next to each other so I can just turn them off and on. Yeah, okay. So that'll be the glacier, the two conveyors. This is the glacier. And then I think these two we're going to need to hook up to splitters. Because I don't think anything else takes the direct higher voltage power. Let's look at these gravel pumps. Yeah, see, these take the smaller connections there. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a... Oh, the trommel's going to need power too, isn't it? So what is that? power hookup require well that takes a big one too okay so we'll do that one next uh okay if we go back through here i think we'll put the trommel next to the glacier creek now how do we get the line down there neatly Let's see if we can run it through here. And then down and around, or maybe up this way. Uh, can we get it to go through this slit in the fence? It looks like we probably can. Here, let's drop it right there and come around to this side. And then we'll 
pull it tight here. Uh, it's, I think I'm too far away from it actually. Or is it either that or it's caught on something up there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> now it's caught on something. Okay. Here, let's try this. Let's hook it up on this side. And... So I think it's going to be easier for me to run it back through here after we get it sorted on this side. There we go. It was caught on something down there. All right, now, the thing is, is can I get it to be running underneath? Oh, no, it's still caught up right there, too. Okay. Can I bring it around through here? There. Okay. Now, what we want to do is well, we don't really want it in here though either cuz material is going to be flowing through there. So, maybe this maybe we do want it to kind of come around here. Yeah, I think we do. Cuz I don't know if I can get it. Oh, dang it. I keep falling off here. I don't know if I can get it to go all the way underneath there. Trying to wind it back up and it's all getting caught on stuff. There we go. Okay, get out from underneath there. Uh, oh. I just had it a second ago. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we just run it around this way, actually. That seems to make the most sense. Um, except for we wouldn't want to drive over it. Again, in real life, in the game, it, the cables and water hoses don't seem to have any kind of durability on them, so you can drive over them without damaging them. But, you know, we would potentially be driving up here on this ramp with, like, the front loader. Hmm. It's kind of a weird setup that they have here for this. Okay. Is it possible to get the line to come in behind here? Oh, I can walk through there. Okay. Let's just hook it up and see what it looks like. Oh, I guess that worked, more or less. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to run with that. That's what we're going to go with, man. Okay, so I think that takes care of all the heavy wire hookups except for a splitter that we're going to want to do. Um, so let's see. That's going to go here. And what if we run that down through here? Just trying to think here for a second. Okay, let's drop that there. We'll go get a power splitter.
and set it right there maybe and then we can run power to to these three machines down here easily um, and maybe even to that one so yeah let's get a crate because we're gonna need to take several of the power wires over Got them all. Looks like it. Didn't quite get to that connector there. Um, can I get up here? Yep, I can. Okay, let's run this one over to the magnetite separator. And can I get it to actually come in between these two? Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Beautiful. We'll take it. This one can go right down here to the wave table. Um, actually, yeah, let's bring it around this way since the connector's here. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Okay, that's good. I think that works. And then we have to bring this power cable to there. Can I reach it from here? Not quite. Bring it around this way and plug it in right there. No, we need a little more slack than that. Uh, I don't want it hanging up on the nuggetator itself. Ah, that that's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, man. My wife just sent me a meme that was hilarious, but sort of kind of inappropriate, so I won't share it with you guys, but uh, it was funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, we just got to get power to this guy, and um, we probably could run it from there. Either that or directly run it from and no, I want to save the other slots up above for probably for lights. So let's see what we can do with getting this over there in a somewhat neat fashion. Probably what we're going to have to... Ooh, that's... That red hose is actually not ideal, is it? We should be able to pull that underneath here. Oh, we can just walk it underneath. That's even better. Okay, and then... If we just kind of go here... And... Go over here and then pull it tight. Oh, yeah, look, it's staying underneath. Except for it's kind of getting caught up over here a little bit. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted to do. And then we just bring it around. We get it to come through on that side. Yeah. All right. 
make it a little tighter and then plug it in. Okay, it's gotta be a little tighter than that. That worked out good. That worked out really good. I think. Did it? Yeah, same same thing here. We're just gonna say that. Oh, wait a minute though. Now that isn't that isn't good. <laughs> um can we it's going to be easier to try and fix that. Probably easier to try and fix that from over here. We need it to get off of the top of the sluice box there. Uh, that might have just... Did that work? No, it's still kind of sticking out there a little bit. If we come down here and pull it, try and pull it tight back up there. Hmm. Well, now, okay, so now it's over the gravel pump. I need it to get like through the gravel pump like it is on the other side. But it doesn't want to fall through it. It's sort of kind of there okay, there there we go. That's a better. Can we just get it all the way on the ground. Yeah. Let's just see what that does. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, fell down again. Can I just get it there? Nope. Where'd it go? All right, well, then we're just going to have to redo it, the whole thing. It comes up there, wraps around back here. It's It's like... It's like it should be right in here. But yeah, I think it's too far under the terrain for me to get to. Let's quit screwing with it. We'll just have to start over. There we go. Okay. So hook that up there. I think I'm going to bring it down through here and try and just thread it through the front here. Okay, now... Let's pull it in. Yeah, like just like that. I think that's workable, actually. Yeah, I think that's workable. We're going to go with that. Except I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit more here. Yeah, just like that. Okay, very good. I think we have all the power going to the wash plant. Um, we still have plenty of outlets left over for lighting and stuff like that um let's put uh some fuel in the wash plant we're gonna have to use our small tank for that uh, so we need a pickup truck and we'll fire that up we'll put turn the water back on and we'll see if our water flow is good and uh, if that's good we should uh, aside from lighting of course be ready to rock and roll All right, let's get some fuel in our Jenny here. Try that again. Again, we won't uh, we won't use all of the fuel in this tank in case we need it for something else. I don't even remember what the fuel level is on the front loader in the dump truck at this point. But that should be enough to get us going for today until we get our big uh, big guy filled up. I think you, I think we already filled you up, right? You have, let's see. Well, we didn't fill you up, but we put fuel in you. 
Yeah, okay, so we have almost a half a tank there. So we're good to go on this. Let's uh let's actually go pull out the uh, the front loader and the dump truck and put the remaining fuel in there because I don't think we need fuel for anything else. Well, actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's just fire up the plant here and make sure everything's good. Okay, let's get the water going first. <clears throat> the thing that kind of sucks about the water tower is I have to run all the way over here to turn the water on, and there's not really a valve solution on this end for that, unless I just, if I disconnect all of these, does the water still flow through? don't think it does, but let's just see what happens. No, it's still showing zero gallons per minute. Okay, well, I guess attaching and unattaching three lines on this end is a little bit better than running all the way back and forth over there. So that's probably how we'll handle this here. still not flowing all right maybe it didn't it needs to be reset yeah okay well i guess we're just gonna have to run all the way over here every time that sucks wait what's going on um why isn't the water flowing Okay, um, what's changed? You don't have to have the power on to turn the water on. Just trying to see if, if it's overloaded in some way. Nope. This is turning my water, nice neat water lines into spaghetti over here. Um, okay. I'm a little confused. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I had it off that last time, but... You guys saw that I turned it off and on a couple of times and it wasn't working at first. Okay, so we're water flow is currently good. Uh, what happens if we turn that on? Oh, I guess we have to turn the generator on next. I mean, it would be nice if I didn't have to turn a bunch of stuff off and on all the time, but I don't know if that's going to fly okay conveyors working conveyor belts working glacier creek is working trommel is working the gravel pumps are not working because we didn't get those hooked up okay but that's not going to consume any more water so we can run that. We can run that. We can run that. Hey, 
Okay, so that's full a full water load there. And it's up to 99 gallons per minute, and we still have 106 gallons. So we still have 7 gallons per minute to spare. So I think we're good on the water. I don't think there's anything else that would be we'd be running water in at the moment. And I'm not necessarily going to have all four of these machines running at exactly the same time anyway. I did remember, though, at Old Arnold, I was having some challenges with that. But I don't know what you'd think those water tanks are the same no matter what parcel you're on. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we got to get those gravel pumps hooked up. That's you always forget something. At least I always do. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Okay, so those we're going to have to probably run individual lines because we have all these taken up. And that power splitter is basically powering the nuggetators, the wave table, and the magnetite separator. So we're probably going to have to run two individual lines down to the gravel pumps. Hopefully they'll reach. We're going to have to go through there. Hmm. Well, I know we, we can put line splitters on the ends of these if they don't reach. Uh, but I think I only have one of those, so we would have to buy another one, which we could do. Well, this line's not going to anything at the moment. Yeah, we just hooked that up to test it uh, earlier. So let's connect to there, and we'll run through here again. Kind of like we did before. So far I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to want to run down underneath the trommel. Uh, what if we come through here and then try and tighten that up a little bit to get it down below. And then over through here. Oh, it's already underneath. Well, that's fine. I mean, that's where we want it to be. And it does reach. So, um, this isn't ideal. <laughs> Here, going right through the roller. Hmm. I want to see if I can get it down off of that roller. What? Oh. That's funny. Can we pull it over this way? Uh, come on, Cable. Just get down. Go down, man. Go down and stay down. Okay, we got it through there. I don't know if that's better or not. Let's look. Not really ideal that it's going through this, is it? Okay, what if we tried it from up here? Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do that because I've got it nice and neatly wrapped around here.
I get it to come over this way some more? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I don't want to I don't I don't want to go through the sluice boxes of the broken cable was restored restored to depot shit. What? That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. That was weird. All right, well, I guess we're going to start over after all. Would it possibly be better? I didn't I didn't even know these cables could break. That was really bizarre. Apparently they can. All right. Let's come through here again and back through here and then down through here. Was there some way I could reach it from that other side? Get up over the top of here. Kind of stuck and then jump down through here. Okay, now we try and pull it tight through here. I lost it. Yeah, see, it's going right through the middle of the trommel now. Oh, there, okay. Well, I sort of kind of got it to go down underneath. Stuck in there. Well, I don't know. We might just have to... It's not going to actually matter in reality. Uh, it just would in the real world. I suppose the other thing we could do is try and just run it around like we did with this one. Yeah, maybe that's what we should do. I keep losing it. Probably tizzets. Oh, you know why? Because that's the maximum length, which means we probably won't be able to run it around. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why it kept slipping out of my hand anyway. Yeah, we're probably just going to have to go with that and just pretend like we actually got it underneath the trommel. And maybe, you know, maybe over time it'll it'll settle down. I don't know. <laughs> but I can't go around anyways because... We don't have enough length, and I don't want to have to put a splitter on it if we don't have to. So, just know that if I was doing this for realsies, I'd be running these cables the proper way. Okay, now again, can we jump up onto here to get over the top of this? It's not letting me get up there like it did before. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then. Down through here, pull it as tight as we can, and plug it in. Except for it's got to go on this side. Get you to come around here. There we go. Good. Okay. If the, if my OCD gets the better of me, I might mess with this later, but I'm I'm done messing with it right now. <laughs> We're going to call it good for right now. All right. So I think that gets everything hooked up. What I'm going to do with this stuff is I'm going to leave it out here for now just in case I forgot something. Until we know for sure we're up and running and everything's good, and then I'll put it away later.
but let's just leave it out here for now. Uh, a lot of this other cabling was used for lighting. You know what? I'll think we didn't actually move our big mobile light system out here. We need to do that. Uh, that's still in storage. So this stuff will be fine down here because it'll be out of the way of everything. And, uh, no, don't look at it, OG. Just go. <laughs> it's still bugging me. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, let's go back to... Well, we want to get out, we want to get the backhoe, or not the backhoe, I'm sorry, the dump truck and the front loader out, too. I have no idea where we're going to be on time with this episode, but we're probably already way over, depending upon how I edit things. So let's do this. Let's let's just get um, the rest of the stuff out here that we need out here, which is the big light platform, and we'll make sure that um, we have enough fuel in our other big rigs here. We can get them out of the shed too. Uh, I guess we have to be in third person to see the thing there. Oh yeah, this is almost completely empty. I may have fairly recently uh, fueled the dump truck, so we might be okay in the dump truck. Let's check the dump truck. Well, it definitely has has more fuel in the front loader, but it's not. It'll it'll definitely be enough for us to operate until midnight, though. So I think we'll put the rest of the fuel, or maybe not the rest of it, but another good portion of it into the front loader. We'll just kind of bring this down here by the pay. Now we figure out what we're going to do dig-wise. Whoops. Okay, so let's put some fuel in here. Where's the nozzle at? Oh, it's in the front. Come on, register. Am I too far away? There. I'm still going to, like I said, save a little bit of this fuel just in case we need it for something else. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Why do you even want to connect the fuel tank pistol to the fuel tank? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. And I don't have an answer for it. <laughs> Other than I didn't actually want to do that, even though I did it. Okay. Guys, I think we are pretty much ready to go. So, what's going to happen in the next episode is we're going to have to we're going to start digging, of course. We'll figure out 
how best to get started with that based upon where the good dirt is. Um, oh yeah, I was going to bring the light, the light out too. Let's look at that real quick. Uh, transport. So yeah, we'll bring out the light system to Nighthawk. And, um, excuse me, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bring the Franks out just yet. Let's just bring out the light. Oh, let's look at our workers, too. Have any of these guys leveled up over the winter? I think they can still level up. These, This guy's just on the verge of leveling. He's already level 2. I'm not sure how they level up over the winter since they're not doing anything, but he's on the verge. Um, can we upgrade it? Oh, we can. Okay, good. That means that other guy might be ready to also. Was it this one? Yep. Okay, so let's upgrade him to level two. He's already level two. We got him to level two. He's not quite ready yet. And that's it. Okay. Whoops. Uh, all right, so we got... Uh, oh, why are you on? That was weird. <laughs> I don't know why that was on. Um, all right, so, yep, I'm going to let you guys go here, and then in the next episode, it'll be time to start digging. So here's our gold map for, uh, for Nighthawk. And uh, this is where the plant is, right in this area. So I think the general idea is that we just start cutting a road into here. And I'll probably process this dirt. I probably will not process this dirt. Um, so we'll open this up and then we'll, you know, kind of start angling into the really hot spot here. We'll dig that out and then we'll work our way up here. Um, digging that out and then, and then eventually up to here. And we'll use, you know, we're going to use Frankenstein's, of course, to help haul the dirt. Um, but I want to kind of get the road going first and figure out the layout uh, before we, we, we involve the Frankenstein. So that's kind of the plan at this point. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.